All right. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure where where we're picking up from, but uh, I power washed for about four hours the thing, so I kind of washed out all that grammy that's built dirt in that was into the surface, and uh, it, it looks pretty good. And then I got inside with soap and water, so. Uh, and we've got plans to... I'll talk about that in a minute here. Okay, anyway. We found out where all the leaks were at. Oh, we got these nice nifty handles, too. Ain't that cool? I still got to rebuild them. But uh, we're getting to all that. I see it's all nice and cleaned up. But it's gotten dirty again already, but... Uh, that's the way it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, with this pot tub, the plan is to to raise it up 18 inches and back whatever we can get away with. Uh, we just got to get away from that uh, uh, boom vang, I guess that's called it. Uh, anyway, get back clear of that. And uh, anyway, that'd be still be nice with this slide top. Only that slide top will be up here, and it could have a, a solar deck there too. It'd have room for a solar deck there. Anyway, and so here's what it looks like all cleaned up here. For what I've done. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll give you a look around here. There was a lot of dirt in here, and uh, we blew everything out, and then we wiped it all down with soap and water, and uh, kind of checking things out. So, now then, here's the plan. I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to set this up here if I can, hopefully it won't fall down. Okay, so uh, I'm going to uh, glue this up next thing, which that's nice and easy to do. I've got some places over over here on the port side that, uh, and then on the, the aft to starboard. Anyway, that I'm just going to glue all that up again with some adhesive and uh, then um, I found out where you know the leaks were at, and uh, basically I'm going to take all four windows out, or whatever they call them. They're not portals, whatever they are. Anyway, the windows, anyway, uh, and uh, and reseal them. And then the stanchion post. There's four stanchion posts, and uh, they didn't leak. Nothing leaked too bad, and I blasted it with uh, with uh, you know the power washer, so. It had a right to leak a little bit. Anyway, uh, it'll be good to do it anyway. I'll just seal all that up and make sure it's all good. If it goes for a tumble or whatever, the water will still have a hard time getting in or whatever. Anyway, then uh, the next step is going to be uh, it's tricky because I'm working all this in and uh, I have to build a rack in order to work on the hull of this thing, which I'm going to have to work on the hull, you know, sooner or later. That's while it's empty and before I start, you know, doing everything else, just make sure the hull's good and everything. Uh, anyway, uh, and it's lighter, you know, I'll get everything out of here. Anyway, uh, so i got to build a rack, and that makes a deal. That makes kind of a big deal there. Um, that I can lift it off the trailer and then I gotta work on the trailer and on the hull. That'll be some fiberglass work there. Uh, oh god it'll help me. I hope that it goes alright. Anyway, uh let's see here. But uh there's a lot I can do before then. Um while I'm working on the other stuff. See I've gotta acquire the pipe. I've got the pipe in for the rack and uh, in use somewhere else and I gotta get done with it. Anyway well, that's a long story. So there's, like I said, there's a lot of things I can still do. Um, 
I did order a little little head, a little uh, toilet, and uh, it should fit right in there. It's supposed to, and it's supposed to be a five gallon, so that's pretty good. Um, and uh, I can work on this table and make it fold up here and click get up out of the way here and just lock up out of the way instead of having to be, you know, in the way all the time. I'm gonna figure all that out and rework that. And uh, I can do that, you know, before I get it up. Let's see, and then, uh, uh, there's just other things I can mess with. I wanted to give an update, it's nice and cleaned up now. I'm proud of that. And I'll give you a look up there. It, uh, it really helped it out. Oh, and uh, see, there's a there's another spot where where I'm going to have an electric outboard. It doesn't need a fuel tank. And that uh, that storage is dedicated to the fuel. I think it's 10 gallon or something. Anyway, uh, I can put. Uh, no, that's probably a five gallon. Luckily, anyway, uh, I can put batteries in there. And uh, so that's a good deal. And then as far as that out here, later on, uh, while it's in the air, I can work on the, the winch that lifts and lowers the, the keel, as they call it anyway. Uh, I'm not sure what they call the fan down there. Anyway, uh, something else I want to get with is uh, building an aft rig here to put the solar cells on. Uh, Figuring out, you know, where it'll be good to support it, but I want to be able to still get through here. So, uh, I just need a big solid post, so I'll probably run another support down and tie it into the hole on both sides. And, uh, that way I can rotate the rig, the solar cells on that, and then have the wings on the side open up, kind of like the solo trike. Only it's going to have to be a lot sturdier. It's got to be able to withstand at least highway speed winds. You know, uh, it's got to be able to stand more than that. It'd be better. Anyway, uh, I love this tiller. I can't wait to. I can't wait to sail. Ahoy! <laughs> this is going to be fun. Uh, okay. Just wanted to give an update. It's all cleaned up. Like I say, uh, the plan's in the works to. To raise this up 18 inches, that'll give me standing room, and it'll still allow for the boom vang and for a solar uh, part of the solar array. Um, and it, it back aways that'll still slide up and allow good access through the companionway, and it'll just uh, it should provide actually depending on how I frame it in on the sides, how far back I go and whatnot. Uh, it, uh, it should be, you know, and get out of the weather a little bit, a bit like a, a Dodger kind of whatever you call it. All that material I didn't talk about, it didn't, none of it worked out. All that down there, none of it, none of it. I could figure any way that it worked on here. It just, it just looks like a bunch of stuff they got at the garage. So this, this here works the tiller handle. And uh, the rest of it, I don't think, uh, that back one, that blue one back there, could be a Dodger. That it could be made into a Dodger cover. Uh, or is it no Bimini? Bimini. Um, all this terminology. Anyway, the cover back here, underneath the solar array. Anyway, uh, so there. This is really going to be a kick, and the long-term plan is to have a small refrigerator, have an inverter, a robust electrical system, a solar system, and a microwave, and a coffee maker. And uh, I still need some kind of a propane or regular cook stove set up too, you know. I, Caleb won't even eat stuff out of a microwave or anything anyway. Elijah won't, uh, anyway, whatever, that's another story. Anyway, uh, but I like a microwave oven, pretty handy, and on a sailboat doesn't take much energy, so it's real good. But we'll have us maybe we'll put a rack back here with a you know one of them propane deals. Uh, have to have a propane bottle then too. Anyway, everything's a deal. 
Uh, I love the rig here. I get you a look up there. Uh, there you go, all cleaned up, and ready to start working on. Okay. Oh, I will see you all later. Mm -hmm.